Paris in the fall, the last months of the year and the end of the millennium. The city holds many memories for me, of cafes, of music, of love, and of death. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life went on around me, but the explosion was to change my life forever. The umbrella had protected me from the bomb blast, but it was of no use to me now. I contemplated crawling under the umbrella and pretending none of this had ever happened. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Salah ed -Din, 1345. I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, 
and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. I guess a little drop won't hurt. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. What about the old man? Is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, mon dieu. I've never seen a real life corpse before. Except for Grandmaman. That was different. She was family. Has he gone stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that all about Tuni played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. Did this newspaper belong to the old gentleman? I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads, Salah Ed Din. Does that mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Nothing. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. The drain pipe hung limp and useless. I tried to lift the cover with my fingers, but couldn't gain any leverage. There was nothing of interest.